Hi kids! By now, you know the meaning of multiplication. Let's study the properties of multiplication today. Property number 1. Multiplying by 1. Let's read these lines. Multiply by 1. Let's start the fun. Same number you get. Never ever forget. Can you guess what is the meaning of these lines? Hmm. This means when the number is multiplied by 1, the product is the number itself. For example, 6 times 1 is 6, 23 times 1 is 23, 121 times 1 is 121. Let's go to property number 2. It is multiplying by 0. Multiply by 0 and 0 is the hero. Again, can you guess what is the meaning of these lines? Let's see. The product of any number with 0 is 0. For example, 5 times 0 is 0. 66 times 0 is 0. 223 times 0 is 0. 3219 times 0 is 0. It clearly means multiply by 0 and 0 is the hero because the product you are getting is 0. Let's go to property number 3. Order in multiplication. Here or there switch the numbers game, but the product remains the same. We can multiply two or more numbers in any order. The product remains the same. Children, if we have two numbers, we can change their order or we can switch them. Like for example, 5 times 7 is 35 and 7 times 5 is also 35. This means 5 times 7 is same as 7 times 5. Let's see another example. 6 times 3 is 18 and 3 times 6 is also 18. That means 6 times 3 is same as 3 times 6. Let's read the lines again. Here or there, switch the numbers game but the product remains the same. Let's go to property number 4. Grouping property of multiplication. Places never matter first, second or third. If the numbers are same, the product will never change. Let's understand the meaning of these lines. We can group three or more numbers in any order and multiply. The product remains the same. For example, children, if we have three numbers, two, four and three, in any order we can multiply the two numbers and then the third number, the product will be same. For example, two times four is eight and eight times three is 24. Let's rearrange these numbers. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Let's again rearrange these numbers. 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 times 4 is 24. This means 2 times 4 times 3 is same as 2 times 4 times 3 is same as 3 times 2 times 4. Let's practice now. 15 times 0. Yes, 0 is the hero. 11 times 1. Multiplying by 1, you get the same number. 11 times 1 is 11. Dash times 6 is 6 times 10. Now here, children, the order of the number is changed. So, 6 times 10 will be equal to 10 times 6. 
Let's look at the D part. 7 times 5 times 6 is same as 7 times 5 times 6. Correct children. Let's look at the E part. 3 times 5 times 4. Here children, you can change the order of the numbers but the product will be same. So, 3 times 5 times 4 is the correct answer or you can arrange 3 and 4 together and then multiply by 5. Then also the answer will be same. Let's look at the F part. 8 times 4 times 5 is same as 8 times 4 times 5. In, on the left hand side, 4 and 5 are grouped first and then 8 is multiplied. On the right hand side, 8 and 4 are grouped first and then 5 is multiplied. You can also write where 5 and 8 are grouped first and multiplied by 4 again. That will also be the correct answer. That's all with the properties of multiplication. See you next time. Bye-bye.